What's up everyone? So I'm finally going to do the video. I finally edited it and for the installing the rear coilovers for the probe. Um, uh, that's not the only thing that was replaced. Also replaced two lateral links, one that is for adjusting the toe and the other one. <laughs> uh, sway bar end links. Um, I didn't do the trailing arms, cause I'm just gonna have to do that another time. Um, let's see, what else did I do? Um, well, I guess that's it. So, I had to remove some paneling inside the probe so I can get to the strut towers, you know, where the nuts are. Uh, the seat belts were on top of that. And then we also had to lower the cradle uh, because there's had some really large bolts that both of those links were using uh, in the cradle and then in the knuckle as well. But I had to drop the cradle because those bolts were so long they were hitting on the fuel tank. So, but it wasn't bad really. It's not. It wasn't bad. Um, but other than, yeah, other than that, it went really good. We got it all done in one day. So, I'm just going to let it flow through. And, um, yeah, so, enjoy. And I'll see you at the end. And then lower this cross member so enough so I can get that bolt out and back in for this because I, I got new links so I got this one and there's also a long bolt right here but that appears to be stuck in the knuckle so I'm gonna try and heat it and get it out uh, next
toasty. Alright, so got that giant bolt out. So we're just hanging by this and obviously the brake line, but let me see, I'll show you. See, there's a bolt. And it's a friggin' link, but yeah. Uh, it almost goes through. <laughs> almost. But really close. Cool the gas tank. The gas tank is right freaking there. And there's still a little bit left. But still, I would have to go all through there. Oh well. But now we're going to do this shit to the other side. So glad this car hasn't seen much rust because if it has seen a lot of rust, there's a, oh, I bet you that there's a really good chance that bolt would not be coming out, probably snap off. All right. Adjust that. <laughs> Adjust it? <laughs> yeah.
detailed but I'm uh, honestly um, I'm just a little too busy for that right at the moment <laughs> but um, I know I was really delayed um, so it, it is what it is but at least I'm getting it out there for you guys um, after all that um, I went and brought it to my work and had an alignment done, and it turned out pretty good. The caster in the front is not, you know, totally 100% in spec, but it's not a big deal. Um, it wasn't off that much, and it does not, caster is not um, an angle where it wears tires, uh, so that's not a big deal. So that is the before, as you can see absolutely nothing except for that camber was in spec. <laughs> and then after, it was much much better. You can see the cambers was a little bit out but not worried about it, it actually drives pretty good.
So this weekend, I'm gonna do an oil change and then I gotta recheck all the suspension and everything that I have touched recently, recently. Um, because Thursday, sorry, <laughs> um, we'll be heading to Pennsylvania to the Ford Nationals. And I will keep you guys updated on that adventure. Um, so it is 700 miles from here to the Ford Nationals. Uh, it's a almost, it says it's, it's probably going to be like 11 hour drive. Just about, uh, I think I figure with, uh, stops. Um, so yeah, I gotta make sure she's 100%. Uh, I did put new tires on her uh, last weekend, so we're good there. But I do need to recheck all the bolts and everything because I replaced a lot of stuff. So I gotta make sure that it is all it's nice and tight still because it is possible that stuff can loosen up. <laughs> but other than that, she is pretty much ready. I guess spiffy her up too on the inside, do some interior detailing, but we're making good progress. So, um, so thank you guys for watching, keeping up with this. And for those who do, I really appreciate it and uh, I'll see you soon.